The Infinity Knee System is a modular platform for PCL reconstruction that supports a variety of surgical approaches, reaming, and fixation preferences. To begin, locate the PCL's femoral anterolateral bundle attachment point, which can be located between the trochlear point and the medial condyle arch. Assemble the Infinity Modular Guide System using the femoral footprint guide arm and the all-inside guide sleeve. Through the anteromedial portal, place the footprint of the guide over the femoral PCL remnant and advance the guide sleeve to skin. Once proper trajectory is achieved, make a small incision and advance the sleeve to bone using the ratcheting feature. Next, prepare to drill using the Infinity Retro Reamer. Connect to the Hall Microfree Mini Driver using an AO Trinkle attachment and insert down the guide sleeve. With the handpiece in forward, drill through the femur until the tip is exposed within the joint. Then, remove the guide body and arm from the joint. Confirm that the laser mark on the reamer's distal tip is exposed, indicating it's safe to flip the retro reamer tip. Next, mallet the sleeve tip into bone until the positive stop is engaged. To observe graft tunnel length, advance the black O-ring until flush with the base of the sleeve. With the drill in forward, activate the retro reamer away from the femoral aperture and gently pull against bone until the proper graft tunnel length is observed. Switch the retro reamer back to inline mode drill mode and remove from the joint. To facilitate suture passing, insert the Infinity Suture Shuttle and retrieve the nitinol loop out of the anterolateral portal. Then, load a passing suture. For tibial reaming, assemble the Infinity Modular Guide System using the tibial PCL guide arm and the 2.4 mm guide sleeve. Insert the guide arm through the anteromedial portal and place the pin capture of the guide arm over the tibial footprint. This PCL footprint can be identified distally along the PCL facet. The pin capture should be positioned 7 mm anterior to the posterior tibial cortex and above the PCL AL and PM bundle ridge. Under direct visualization, advance the 2.4 mm guide pin through the anteromedial tibia until the pin contacts the pin capture point. Then, remove the guide sleeve but maintain the position of the guide arm and body to protect vascular structures while reaming. Advance a constant diameter reamer under direct visualization until contact is made at the pin capture point. Then, remove the guide. Use the Infinity Suture Shuttle to then prepare a passing suture for graft passing through the anterolateral portal. Next, place the graft through the graft loop of the Infinity Femoral Adjustable Loop button. The graft loop is reduced by pulling only the one white tensioning suture that is indicated by the blue suture tag. Being the first reversible button, you can use the reversible button feature to reposition the graft within the tunnels by pulling back on the blue reversible button tab and then pulling back on the graft construct. To pass the graft, load the Infinity Femoral Adjustable Loop Button's lead and tensioning sutures onto the femoral passing suture. Under direct visualization, pull the lead sutures while removing slack from the tensioning sutures until the button is seated on the lateral femoral cortex. Distal tension on the graft construct will confirm seating. To tension the graft loop, drop the lead sutures and pull only the tensioning suture with the blue suture tag while simultaneously applying distal tension on the graft construct. If graft placement optimization is needed, use the Infinity Reversible Button tab to adjust the position of the graft within the tunnel. For tibial graft passage, load the tails of the graft and retrieve through the tibial tunnel. For tibial fixation, cycle the knee and fixate with a Genesis Matrix Interference Screw with the knee at 90 degrees of flexion. Finally, remove the lead suture and cut the femoral button's suture limbs at the skin, taking care not to cut the friction lock. Then, trim any excess tibial graft limbs, cut one of the reversible button tab sutures to remove to complete the reconstruction.